Hey everyone, it's me, Emric, aka Momo, and welcome to another riveting episode of Sorry, I'm British. So, what am I apologising for today? British people drink too much. Well, I mean, it's kind of true, but, um, well, yeah. So apparently, Britain is among the worst countries in the world for binge drinking. So there's this stereotype that students spend most of their time drinking rather than studying, and colleagues go out to drink in pubs after work, and if you do go out late night in central London, you will probably see a lot of drunk scenes on public transportation, especially on a Friday or Saturday night. In post-war Britain, most of the drinking took place in pubs, which were almost completely male-dominated areas. And beer, more specifically ale, was the most popular drink. But major changes started to happen in the glorious era that we call the swinging 60s. Firstly, lager, which was traditionally not really popular with us Brits, kind of evolved and nowadays accounts for three quarters of UK beer sale. You want a pint of lager? What? Lager? Come on, lager's too weak. I need some ale, yeah! Oof, so hot today. I really need a nice, cool pint of lager. Another change is that we have a way more relaxed attitude towards women getting turnt in the pubs and clubs than ever before. What's that woman doing over there on her own? I don't know, what a weirdo. Can I have wine? No, you're a woman. You can have like half a pint, the best. Hi guys! Oh, hey! Can I have a pint, please? Sure, I have whatever you want on me. Ah, oh, what a hard tattoo. Mm. Around the same time, British drinkers also developed a taste for another delicious foreign import, wine. Wine has become the most popular choice of alcohol in the UK and it's also super, super important because it's totally acceptable for you to drink it at home alone. And we also have, affected by the rave culture in the 1990s, the drinks industry started to introduce alcopops and shots. And around this time, bars also started to introduce little deals. All of this, was happening and underlined by the real cost of alcohol dropping. So nowadays, it's actually 60% cheaper to buy booze than in the 1980s. Of course, there are other reasons leading to the UK's drinking problem. Uh, according to research, the most concerning of which is undiagnosed depression. So why is Britain depressed? Oh, I don't know. Blame the weather or something. And Brexit. <laughs> Brexit. It's also illegal to give children under the age of five alcohol. What? So it's fine to give older children alcohol? Well, no, not really. So if you're under 18, it's against the law for someone to sell you alcohol or for you to buy alcohol or to try to buy alcohol or for an adult to try to buy you alcohol. Yeah. Oh, I'm 29, but when I try to buy alcohol in the supermarket, they ask for my ID. Oh, congratulations. That's just because you look so young. We're going to ask for ID before we serve you any alcohol. So businesses, organisations and individuals who want to sell or supply alcohol in England and Wales must have a liquor licence. Transport for London has a policy in place that bans passengers from drinking alcohol or carrying open containers of alcohol on public transport. But you can still drink on national rail and trains in the UK there are also really, really strict alcohol limits for drivers, but it's impossible to say exactly how many drinks qualify as the legal limit. So you can be imprisoned, banned from driving, and face a fine if you're found guilty of drink driving. So just don't drink and drive. Alcohol consumption guidelines tend to vary quite widely between countries, but so does the culture around alcohol consumption. And I've heard that in China, drinking culture varies geographically. Okay, it's quiz time, yay! So today's question is, how many milliliters are in one pint? Leave your answers down below and we will reveal the answers on Weibo. Until next time, kisses from England. Bye guys. Ah! All done now, drinks, drinks? No, hell no, I am not going for drinks with you again. Not after what happened last time. Don't you remember what you did? No? When you went and then you With a banana bread and a plunger. Yeah. You're nasty. You're nasty. That was one time. One time. Nasty. One time.